Hey, Diamond. Turn that music off. Kids run the house. <laughs> Diamond What's is up, a day Kendra? one. She was she was on this show when I first started it two years ago. Look at this hair. You look good. I'm about to be 55 years old. When? January 15th. Oh, my goodness. You look amazing. Thank you. We are so much bigger now, Diamond, than when you first came on the show. I know. I, I was scared because I'm like, man, 7,000 people. I can handle the little 500 we was going. I, I now, was going we are 8,000, really. But, man, y'all better not come for me. I'm auntie. You know what I'm saying? Well, Only way I'm going to get at y'all if y'all come for me sideways. But I love Kendra. Y'all call me auntie on here. What's up? Diamond, but you can hold your own. You ain't no punk. You know it. Are you still single? Still single. <laughs> you want to know why? Why? Because I come with this clause now. You're going to be my last love or my first homicide. And I tell them, cheat on me. I'm going to put a pillow over your face because I'm not playing these games. Period. What? 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 Well, well, Diamond, why is it death do us part, literally? Because I'm too old for them to be playing games with me. Y'all should have been played in the streets. And if you survived when you ran across the freeway, then you got to me. Why the hell you going to run back over there in the freeway in traffic? So I cut them off on the same conversation. I listen to them talking. We'll be talking. And then if they ain't saying none of our marriage goals or whatever, I'll be like, you know what? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You're just not the one for me. Okay, let's break it down for those who don't know, Diamond. So, Diamond, you do want to get married? Definitely. Have you ever been married? Twice. Twice. All right. So one of them a crackhead, and the other one cheated on me with his high school sweetheart. So I left his dusty ass. He shot at me all over the city. Remember I told you about that? Because I got a divorce town. And now he married to her. <laughs> wait, wait, Diamond. It's been two years, so you got to refresh my memory. You was married to a crackhead? The first one turned out to be a crackhead. <laughs> and, and, and the second one shot at you? He was cheating on me, and I left him. And then... When I served him with them divorce papers, he shot at me. He was shooting at me all over the city. He shot in my truck. I still got the bullet hole in my Yukon because I still got the Yukon. <laughs> Did he go to jail? Once he got, he went to jail at midnight and got out at 6 a.m. Calling my phone. You know I'm still cute, you bitch, right? This was years ago? This was in 2018 and 19. That's not too long ago, Diamond. Now, a guy might be nervous that if he dates you, that it might be dangerous. He ain't got to worry about it because I um got, the police told me to go buy a gun because they weren't going to never catch him. So I went and bought a gun. And the last time he tried to shoot at me, I pulled a gun out first. And he politely did a motherfucking 360 and went right back to his car. And they ain't never had no more problems out of him. Then I was picking at his ass because I wanted to shoot him. All the times you shot at me and could have killed me. After I got a gun, I was and I had a restraining order. If you kill somebody that's a restraining order against you, are not going to jail. So I was like, bitch, bring your ass over here. Come and fuck with me now. Uh, anyway. Anyway, Lisa? if a man mess with me, he's going to have to have a little thug in him because um, I don't mess with cotton swabs. I can't do it. Yeah, I, th I think this might These make men be soft as marshmallows, but then be mad because we got aggressive attitudes. You want to know why? Because y'all absent from the home. And y'all leave the women responsible for everything. So when I go take my car to the shop and get into it with the man who fixed it, what I'm supposed to be like, oh, um, please don't. Um, please don't do me like, like, like that. No, I'm going head to head with his ass. I'm not giving you shit. You know what I'm saying? Then they be like, well, you too rough. I know how to be submissive. But I got a rough side. That means you soft as cotton then. You got, you, oh. I have a rough side, you but I also side. have a soft side. You know and, and where the soft side at, Diamond? You got to tap into it. <laughs> okay, let's, okay let's, let's see the things I do remember. You from the Bay Area? Yes. Bay Area, um, 55, her birthday's on the way. So what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. You do have children, right? Sometimes. How many kids do you have, Diamond? Four sometimes. What are the ages of these four children? 37, 33, 26, and 21. And they were all results of your former marriages, right? Two from the first, two from the second. Is one still incarcerated? Yeah. 
When does he get out? But he actually got another court date because uh, it was the the, the public the pretender didn't submit a lot of evidence that they, he said. Anyway, he got a new court date, which is good. So let's cr just just pray. But then you know what, Kendra? Being that there's so much murder going on around here and killings going on around here, I don't want him to get out. Cause he only 26 years old. I'm afraid he gonna fall right back into the shit that got him where he at now. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's not quite yet. I don't never want him to see this show. He gonna kill me. But I don't think he not quite ready. But he matured a whole lot. But I'm I'm still think cause when he had said to me, I'm gonna slap her motherfucking ass when I get out. I was like, what? Well, I'm, I'm just mad. No, no, no. I'm going to need you to be saying stuff like, I'm going to pray for her ass. You know what I'm saying? And we pray like this? How we pray? You said, <laughs> okay. Okay, Diamond. All right, Diamond. Woo, child. Um, Diamond, what you do for a living? Wait on these bum-ass niggas to take care of me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> What dude say he want a poly relationship, but he ain't doing paying no bills? That's what I ain't looking for. And I ain't looking for somebody who hair sticking all over their head, them little twigs. I ain't looking for that neither. I'm well groomed, and I'm gonna need him to be well groomed. Or I'm gonna okay. groom his ass if he got some money, as long as he paying for it. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm looking for somebody who wait, don't wait, wait, got wait, a catfish life. Before I get to that, what do you do for oh. a living? Dang, Kendra, why well, I gotta tell you that again? Cause <laughs> now, that's I, I own my own trans I own my own transportation company and I own my own um, nonprofit. Y'all wanna donate, hit my DM and I tell you. Okay, she does a transportation company and nonprofit. All right. Diamond 55, Capricorn, Bay Area. The nonprofit I help batter women and children because when I left my home, they promised me this and promised me that. Glad I'm glad I had hustling in my blood back then. Cause I had to hustle to take care of them hotel um, rooms that I had to live in for two months until I got a place to stay. Cause they damn sure didn't help me. Oh, okay. So she also helps women that have been through things similar to her. All right, they so homeless. Now, they homeless. Home homeless women. With children. So, with children. Diamond, what kind of man are you looking for? One that got some common sense, because that's hard right now. I don't know what's going on with these men. And then they want to be, lately I've just been attracting 30-year-olds. They in their 30s, right? Which is fine. But you got to have a mentality of a 50-year-old. You can't be acting like a 30-year-old. Who still hang up in people's face? Well, a 30-year-old acts like a 30-year-old because he's 30, Diamond. Some of them is mature. I mean, like, 35 and up. You know what I'm saying? But lately, I've been attracting between 30 and 33. You know, and I still try to be their friend because some of them need mentoring, you know, about life in general. You know, I try to educate them. If you can't take care of yourself, baby, don't date outside your league. And they be like, what you mean by that? What I mean by that is if you work in that Foot Locker, you personally, working at Foot Locker. You need a girlfriend who's making less money than you. So she needs to be working at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Because if you try to date me and you dating outside your league, because I'm going to ask you to buy me some Gucci shoes, and they're going to be starting at $1,500. And if you ain't got a credit card, then you can't mess with me because you, can't, you ain't got $1,500 in your pocket unless you're a drug dealer and you keep that to yourself. You can be a drug dealer. You go to jail, don't call me because I'm not putting no money on not a damn thing. Shit, right about now, the girls that's doing love at the lockup doing better than me. I need to start looking for an inmate. <laughs> Inmates buying BMW trucks and shit. Man, whatever. I guess you can find love anywhere. I told my son, look around in that prison and see who in there got some money. <laughs> If they got them green dot cars. <laughs> Give them my information. <laughs> um, okay, Diamond, what's some deal breakers besides not having enough money to date you? Being married and lying and saying you not, that seemed to be a big deal. Even though they're not together, they still be married. And then telling us about, deal breaker is telling me you don't like makeup and eyelashes. 
I don't like twigs and sagging pants. Okay. And raggedy cars. And no beds on the floor. Air beds like that. But you know, kids, you don't make a bussing. But yeah, just have your shit together. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you know our show has grown since you were on it, so we got more questions. Does the guy have to look a certain way? I really want to date somebody um, oriental right now, like a fine ass Chinese man. You meant Asian. Asian. Okay. Yeah. You, well, like, so Thank are you for prefer, the is your preference Asian men only? Would you not date nah. a black guy? No, you're open. Of course, my brother's going to come first. Stop playing. Oh, okay. Does he, have, well, you kind of alluded to it. Does this guy got to make a certain amount of money? Enough. En enough. Does he have to? You could be working at McDonald's but have credit card limits of $20,000. Well, who works at McDonald's that has a credit card limit of $20,000? I mean, you could. The managers? My the son's man girlfriend is a manager at McDonald's. Actually, you know what? That's true. I know a My lot of- My son's girlfriend is a manager at McDonald's, and she wear Yeezys. Sure. And, and, and I, I, I'm being, I know a lot of um, McDonald's owners who do extremely well. So not just, yeah, the, I know in Chicago, it's a whole correlation of black McDonald's owners. And they're all millionaires. So. I just happened to live by the only black-owned McDonald's, and I met him at a bar one night. Huh? But what happened? I was back then. I used to be heck shy. You know what I'm saying? So I got on the radio station. They had this show called "Yo, Did You See Your Love? And you tell them where you saw your love at, and they try to find the person. So I had told them, but they, he never heard it, I don't think. They could, oh, they couldn't find him. All right, Diamond, we got to do the Kendra cam. That's when we see your full body. Oh, God. Oh, I'm coming back after my birthday. I ain't going to tell you why until you see me. You getting surgery? I ain't telling you, Kendra. Oh, yeah, I started back modeling. You asked me what I'm doing. I started back modeling, got my first gig. You know what I'm stick on, bro? All right, but let's do the Kendra cam. You, you model stick on, bros. All right, we see you 55 years old. This looks good for 55. Pow, pow. So, Diamond, when was your last real? Huh? When was your last relationship? Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was? Three years ago, last time I had some dick. You. It's so bad. Last night I was on live. I was like, you know what? I'm looking for a stud now. Fuck it. Hell, I'm baby my toy so long. I said, well, shit, studs wear plasticine. I best with a plastic dick right about now. So I've been dating a plastic dick for three years. So now I'm open to studs. Fuck it. Let's go. Only God can judge. Only God can judge me. Um, Diamond, why do you think you're single? Cause they scared of me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was the that was accurate. <laughs> well, you know I'm a live streamer. Okay. So what does that so mean? They what they got to do with you being single? They be telling me why they scared. They scared of me. They be like, they, man, you aggressive, man. You, yeah. Okay. Well, I, why I would I... I did meet somebody on here. He flew from Miami here to see me. And what happened? When he got back home, he got jealous, girl, and I was still streaming. And I don't play them disrespectful games. He called me a bitch, and that was it. I blocked him on that day. Yeah. Yeah, he had to go. Uh, he gave me money and everything. He was all cool when it came to that type of shit. But you ain't finna disrespect me. I feel you, girl. So, we Diamond, let me too. ask you this. So, why would a guy or a stud be uh, lucky to be with you? Because I'm a cater to them just like I cater to my man. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like I said, I got a sensitive side. I know how to be submissive. So, I mean, I'm not, I, even though I told them... I, a stud probably got to work a little harder, you know what I'm saying? But if you do get me, you know you got a prize. Anything worth having is worth trying to get. If you can get it easy, it ain't worth having. Which is why my coochie still ain't been touched in almost three years. Yep. Um, what's the age range you want to date, Diamond? You're 55. Ooh, I don't even know right about now. If you bought 30-something, you got some money. No, I'm just <laughs> You owning some shit? <laughs> no, um, 38 is a good age. You know. 38 to what? Till they not on a walker and shit. Say and not in a wheelchair. Not in a wheelchair. You know and I done said this before, and it's somebody in my life that just reminded me. I'm not dating nobody 
in in no wheelchair or walker because I'm not in the wheelchair or walker, so I'm not pushing nobody around. And y'all know, y'all know my saying. You ain't rushing me to my grave, taking care of somebody. No. I ain't got yeah. back problems. I ain't finna have back problems trying to pick my man up. Nope. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Does Whoop. he have to be in the Bay Area? Hell no. I'll jump on the plane before he can say. Now, would you buy your right. own plane ticket or does he have to buy the plane ticket? Oh, no, 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 no. That's another debate I'll be having. You want me to fly my vagina to you? Are you serious? You want me to pay for it? For me to bring all this? Enliven up your life. You want me to pay for it. N nigga, please. No, I'm not paying for no flight. Okay. If you can't afford a flight, you shouldn't you date no type your right at league. There we go again. Because okay. that shouldn't even be a question. You know what I'm saying? A man should automatically be like, well, you know what? I want to see you. I'm a, I'm book a flight. I got you. No, I'm not. Well, can you pay for a flight and come see me? You sound stupid as hell saying that. And if a woman hear me on here and you book your own flight, you can trust believe me, he going to dog your ass out. Because he going to be like, I ain't paying for you to come here. Get into it with him. You brought yourself here. That's going to be the first thing they say. All right. This is auntie teaching lessons right here. This is Period. Diamond, Diamond 55 Capricorn in the Bay Area. Owns her own transportation company and nonprofit. She'll date 38 and up. She does have four kids. Um, uh, make sure you have enough money to date her. For example, if you work at Foot Locker, that would not be enough. She recommends you date someone that works at McDonald's. Um, she had an ex-husband before that did crack, no more crackheads. Um, her other husband tried to shoot at her, no more guys that try to shoot at her because she invested in her own weapon too. So now she's strapped. Um, and you can't be in a wheelchair because she's not going to push you around. And I think, oh, and if you want to see her and you don't live in the Bay Area, your bitch ass better buy her a plane ticket. I think that was the accurate recap. And if, you don't like, if you don't like fake hair, don't fuck with me. And if you don't like fake we hair. We queen, don't. okay. So if you don't like fake hair, don't fuck with her. Mm -mm. All right, boo. Give them your Instagram name, Diamond. C Diamonds R, the letter R, the number forever. C Diamonds R forever. C Diamonds R forever. And see, I'm still here. Yeah. And all my friends done died, girl. Quit playing. That's right. You still here. God kept you with smoke. us. Make also, like, you like to smoke weed? Girl. By the ounces. Okay. Not a phone's getting blurry, but C diamonds are forever. Let me make sure y'all don't know. It's C, the word diamond, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, the word, the letter R, for the letter, the number four ever, E-V-E-R. See, diamonds are forever. I right, boo, you know I love you. I love you too, Kendra. I'll be back in about March. I got to show you something. Well, hopefully, <laughs> maybe you'll find a man from this live and you'll come back with your guy. If you don't man, meet me by January 10th, you can't get it. I'm sorry. Okay, it's, well, you I'm got January 10th to get it. I'm going to date right. myself for the rest of my life. Good All night, y'all. Right, I'm going to watch the show. Y'all be good now. Bye, baby. Thank